in sixth grade. So we've known each other for a very long time. We kind of were off and on in high school a little bit and then went our separate ways after graduation. He joined the Air Force and I went to college and then we started talking again. Through the Air Force, I went through basic. I went to my tech school and all through that I was, uh, I, I talked to her like here and there but it wasn't like a constant thing. We decided to hang out when he came home for Christmas 2013. Three months before I graduated tech school, I started talking to her. I had mentioned that I was going to come home for Christmas. After that, he got stationed in Las Vegas. And he's been living there ever since. We've been dating for two and a half years, long distance. He was coming home for his birthday in July. His brother and sister and their significant others were all going to Chicago for the weekend. So he flew into Chicago and met us there. We went to a super nice dinner. I was expecting it. I was pretty much, I pretty much knew that it was gonna happen. So then we went to the park and we walked to Buckingham Fountain and then we just stood in front of the fountain and talked for a few minutes. I wasn't really thinking about uh, proposing to her all day. And then like I saw her with her dress on and I, I was acting a little, a little weird, but I had a lot on my mind and like, what I, what was I gonna say to her when I got to the fountain? How am I gonna do this? So many things going through my head, but I just found the worst to say. Heavenly Father, we've gathered here to celebrate your greatest gift to us, love. Divine love comes to us from heaven, unites us together in relationships that are greater than any that we can imagine or encounter on our own. It is Justin and Bailey who have brought us all here today. What you have done through their lives in bringing them together and what you are going to do through their lives in the future that we all imagine today. God, we invite you into the ceremony. It is marriage that brings us here. It is the relationship of Bailey and Justin, the love that they have shown and the love that they celebrate today. Marriage is God's idea, not ours. It is marriage that is the basis for all society, for creating life, and for being the people God created us to be. It's in marriage that we discover truly who we are, that we grow into the people that God designed us to be, and that we discover the true nature of who He is through Jesus Christ. I think if you're gonna fully commit to somebody, you have to be totally devoted to everything about that person. You have to put the other person's needs in front of your own and stay fully committed to each other and faithful throughout everything, the ups and the downs. It's just going to be crazy that 
We've spent all this time being apart from each other, and I'm moving to Las Vegas with him. It's a whole new chapter for us being together. I love you, Bailey. You're my best friend. Today I give myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage you and inspire you. I promise to laugh and cry with you. I will comfort you in good times and in bad times, when life seems easy and when it seems hard. I promise to cherish you and to always hold you in the highest regard. From this day forward, I promise to stand by your side through thick and thin. I promise to always be honest with you no matter what. I promise to support you in your dreams and aspirations. I promise to always be your best friend and help you see the joy in life. Nothing compares to the love I feel for you, and I promise to show you every day. By the power vested in me as a minister of the gospel, I pronounce you husband and wife. Justin, you may kiss your bride.